Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are here at Ghent Knuzen Canal in the Netherlands again. Uh, we are actually homing in really close to having all the uniques and actually all the species of fish caught of every size. I think we're four away on the uniques. I'm not sure about some of the others, but we are going to be checking that out here real quick. I believe that. We've got the European eel, we still have a unique for that one. We've got the unique eyed we need to get. The common northern pike we still haven't gotten either. And the unique Xander. And I believe there's... No, I think we've gotten everything else. Yeah, so we basically just to get, need to get those particular species. And that's what I'm going to try to focus on here if I can. Now... I've been told about some good spots to catch some Eid, and we're going to go over to the Urban Paradise, I think it's called, to look for them. That's been the best spot so far, but, but yeah, I think we've gotten everything. The Northern Pike, we still haven't got the common. They're kind of hard to find, though, honestly. So, yeah, we are going right into the peak at 7 p.m., so let's go ahead and go start some doing some fishing here I've already got my rod set out and we are right just to the left of those windmills and that factory over there and make sure we are close to the bush but anyway we've been here before this is where we caught the unique flounder last time and as far as gear goes I've still got the feeder rods I had from last time but we're Sticking with one odd hooks and two odd hooks, and on this one I've got mayflies, which is supposed to be real popular for the eyed, and cockchafers, and that is specific for the eyed only. That should be about the only thing that will go for it here, so that'll definitely single them out. And then we've got shrimp on this one, and we've got small cut bait, or actually it's medium cut bait. That should focus on eels. So I'm primarily focusing on eyed and eels at this point. And if we get anything else, that's just going to be you know, a bonus for the most part. But yeah, there's other things we can try. But I definitely wanted to focus on using the shrimp. And as far as casting reels and spin, and spin casting, I've got this new jig winner. It can get about 200, yard, or 200 feet plus which is much better I still got the feather light 7 with the uh, medium spoon on it so we're also going to be basically focusing on some Xander 2 while we're feeder fishing but we are already getting bites just nibbles for the most part and this guy has been pecking in it and he was doing it when I was laying these out <laughs> so he keeps coming back. I think eventually he's going to do something. But while he's fiddling around, I'm going to go ahead and throw this this one out. Actually, I wanted to try the narrow spoon. Now, I've got this on the jig winner. And like I said, I should be able to get more than 200 feet casting distance. I had gone back and changed this out just so that I could get a little more of it. Get out close to those windmills, which were the Zan you know that's where the Xanders are hanging out. But I'm keeping it at about the two notches. And I'm hoping we can get a Xander this way. Now, if we don't, we can eventually do some feeder fishing for them and. 
I would use probably a one-odd or two-odd hook for that, which is what we already have, and use leeches, oh, there we go, and small minnows, because the Xander just go for that, as well as shiners. I forgot about the shiners. But whatever this is, it's not big. Let's see what it is. It, I'm kind of thinking it might be a European perch, just from the size. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, that's spot on. Yeah, they're pretty ravenous and they love that spoon. So that's kind of why I figured that's what it was. Sorry about the little expletive there. Minor expletive. But, I mean, that I need to get the emphasis on how uh, spot on I am sometimes with these things. I'm letting this thing sink, but not all the way to the bottom. It seems like I've been getting in the daytime a lot of the Xander want to bite somewhere in the like mid water. So I try to like reel in like three reels and stop. Okay, that's the cock shafer. So something that's probably an eyed. Yep, I'm betting you. Ooh, that's a nice fish. Okay, let's see what we got here, guys. Looks like we got some kind of a boat going on out there, too. Trophy eyed. All right, they're definitely going for it. And finally, our little friend here, who's been pecking at it for quite some time has decided that he's interested in it and okay he's well I don't know that he's significant size because this is my lightest rod I think it only goes to like maybe eight or nine pound test something like that so it doesn't necessarily have to be a very big fish We're going to get him in. He's coming. I mean, he's not really... Well, I was going to say... I was going to say he's not really pushing it too much, but he is a little bit. Wow. I'm impressed. This might be bigger than I thought it was. Now, honestly, I haven't really looked to see if anything else goes for the mayflies, but I don't think anything other than I do. So, and judging from the way this guy's fighting, I'm fairly certain that's what we have here. So, and of course we've got something else biting. But I know this is a big fish, so I don't care if I lose the other one. Well, maybe I do, but still. <laughs> I'm not putting it down because these guys get off very easy. I've had these eyed get on these reels, or get on these rods, and let the slack go, and then they just get right off. Well, this guy's really giving me a fight. Dang it, gun. He better be a unique. And he is. Awesome. <laughs> I knew he was a eyed. I knew he was at least an eyed. Okay, that's what what one looks like right there. Got a nice look at him. He's three point five eight zero pounds. I guess they don't really get that big. Let me get here in the light a little bit. There we go. Yeah, you have to kind of get yourself positioned in the light, otherwise you can't really see these guys very well. So. 18.2 inches, 3.58 pounds. I'm going to get another picture. And there we go. Okay. Well, that ought to do it. That's our first unique so far. So take that off the checklist. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can't mark that if I can get a chance here but before I do that I think I'm gonna go ahead and 
switch this out with something else. We've got an eye now, so we don't have to focus on him necessarily. So we are going to focus on other species, like the Xander on that one. The Xander do go for the Shiners. And I believe the eels do too, so I'd be happy to get either one at this point. And yeah, we want to change this one out too. Let's see. Shrimps maybe? No. No, I want to kind of do Xander, so let's try the small minnows. Honestly, leeches do do better, but you really have to be much higher levels to get the leeches, so small minnows are accessible early on. Here we go. I think we have us an eel. Not sure that he's a unique eel, though. We can bump that up a little bit. Yeah... No, it's not a unique, because that had more of a fight. Darn. Well, let's at least get a look at him. Pretty certain it is an eel, though. He's, he's holding his own pretty good, though. But yeah, I see how they swim on top of the water there. They kind <laughs> of like a snake. There we go. Well, at least we completed part of that mission. That's a trophy European ale, so... That's not bad. That's not bad. Now, we have caught trophies already, but... Yeah, he gave me a tiny bit of a fight, but... Okay, something is definitely on that one. Uh, this is Shiner, so we can... We might have Xander here. We might have Eel... We do have something fairly good size, so that much I can tell you. Actually, we could even have European flounder and possibly northern pike. Judging from the size. Now... Oh lord, it is good size, whatever it is. Let me see, I can't... I don't think it's an eel. Eels don't really jump like that. Well, he's gonna take a minute to get in though. This guy is impressive. He just keeps taking it out. All right. Well, <laughs> really didn't realize I was going to have this much of a fight, but all right, he's. He's getting there. Come on. Let's see if we can't get him in here a little closer. I think we've got him now. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Another trophy European eel. That's two trophy European eels. Damn, I really thought he might be a unique one. Alright, well, we'll just try again. Obviously, they're out there. It's just a matter of timing and getting the right one. But we are going to set that up so we know where he is. 
It's actually pretty close to where that other marker is. We'll just keep... Make sure I check this. I might have some duplicates here. Yeah, that C, that's right on top of each other. That's not what I was trying to click on. Let's see if we can come in there. Well, I don't want to overuse my markers. Darn things are kind of kind of expensive. They take bait coins, so kind of. Uh, I like to mark them, but at the same time, I don't want to waste them. I will sometimes put temporary ones down for locations, like if I happen to say earlier, like I was catching eyed, and I caught a trophy eyed. I'll mark it. So I know where I'm catching eyed. And then, if I catch a unique, I can delete the trophy eyed and leave the unique eyed marker. I just want to check this to make sure that it's still got its bait on it. Because it keeps saying the bait's been pulled away. Well, that's okay, I guess. Sometimes when the bait gets pulled away or you you know the fish gets off, they take your bait. So you could have a line out there and it's just got no bait on it. <laughs> Nothing's gonna bite. Go ahead and recast that out. And I'm actually back to this again. Yeah, a lot of times when we're in the peak periods like this with the feeder rods, we don't get a whole lot of opportunity to do the spin casting. Unless there's a lull. Right now there seems to be a bit of a lull. Alright. Okay, I think he's serious. Okay, this is small minnow, so this could be a Xander. I'm hoping it's a Xander, actually. It's not big, though. Decent! Yeah, because this is my heaviest feeder rod. This is like an 18-pound test, so this... It's a fairly decent one. I mean, it's, it's pushing that line over to the left quite a bit, so... Oh! Awesome! It's a northern pike! We caught the nor northern pike, the common northern pike, and we completed our other mission. Well, that's awesome, guys. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, these guys are not easy to catch here, honestly. It's e hard to find it because there's not a lot of cover. Looks like we got us a casting spoon, one half ounce as a reward. I'll definitely take that. And... Hydroecologist of the Ghent Tunusian Canal. Catch all fish species of a common form, the Ghent Tunusian Canal. And we got a bait coin and 1700 cash. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yep. And I'm going to go ahead and mark that, without a doubt. May never catch another one, but we're going to mark it. Go ahead and throw that back out while we caught the last one. Because that is still Xander territory. There we go. Okay, that is a small minnows again. Let's see what we got here. Got us a Xander or not? Guess we'll find out soon enough here. It's not a monster. Yeah, the sun has gone down. 
Yeah, we're going into a really good size peak. This is going to be prime time for Xander. I think that's what we have here. No! A unique European flounder. Well, I've been getting a dickens out of these things. I've been catching them left and right. I think it's like the fourth one I've caught in just a few episodes. Maybe the fifth. Yeah, I've got a viewer that's really interested in me doing a uh, flounder in Blue Crab Island. They're not easy to catch, the unique ones there. The real ones aren't too bad, but I've got a few spots and a few places marked. So I'm thinking after this, instead of going to, uh, to Tiber River or one of the other ones that are just right after this, I might go on to Blue Crab because I have another viewer that also has a good location for Big Mouth Buffalo. So, haven't been there in a while, so should, that could be interesting. That could be really interesting. But then Tiber River is interesting too. Lots of trout species. So, I don't know. Guys, let me know if you'd rather I went to Blue Crab or Tiber River, because that's kind of where I'm looking at things. But during this session, I'm going to try to work at this until I get everything completed. I would like to see one waterway all the way done here. Let's see if we can't get some kind of a bonus for it or something. Right, here we go again. Okay, now we're going to start picking up here, guys. Okay, let's hope we got a Susander this time. Yeah, usually at night you can get the unique Xander fairly readily. Now I've gotten them off of these. I've got I really get them off of leeches. Leeches is, all, is almost a guarantee. And I've gotten them off the uh, narrow spoon, the purple one. Ah, trophy eyed. That was unexpected. Shoot. Well, we definitely know where the eyed are to be found, don't we? Okay, that is a creepy sounding howl. I'm sorry, but it sounds like something out of the Halloween event that didn't quite get taken out of the uh, programming. Yeah. Okay, he's definitely on there. He's not huge though. Probably a regular Xander. Either a regular Xander or a normal size European flounder. Wrong on all counts. A trophy eyed. <laughs> Apparently the tro the eyed go for those small minnows too. Now I'm hoping this is either a Xander or an eel. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this isn't real big. I think it's a regular Xander though. Yep, regular Xander. Okay, I think we got this fella too. Yeah, I went ahead and put leeches on this one because I am... Tr I know it's for higher levels, but I really want to get this darn unique. <laughs> and I'm more sure to getting one with these guys. You will get them with the other, but I'm not patient enough. Here we go, <laughs> Sander. <laughs> Sorry, losing my patience. But yeah, I am keeping the hook size a little bit, a little bit bigger. Two aught should get us the bigger Xander. 
We can get them with a one up, but we're going to get a lot more of the regular size Xanders. And I'm just determined to get these guys as much as possible and as soon as possible because I want to move on. I've been here long enough. That's for darn sure.